I'm Vivian Lee Croft and I am the Corporate Programs Coordinator at Pittsburgh Cares. We're a volunteer agency who matches up to 600 nonprofits with corporations, businesses, and individuals. It's a really great organization. I have two friends who have worked for an orphanage in Haiti for um, combined 15 years. And they needed someone to come down and document their everyday experiences. Um, there are many times that people have tried to tell their story stateside, but really only get a piece of what actually goes on day to day with them. So um, I was able to have the opportunity to go down to Haiti and visit with Jamie and Allie Mutri on behalf of their organization, the Haitian Orphan Rescue. And I followed them from 6 a.m. to midnight for five days, uh, visiting families, talking to uh, members of the community, and working with their children and trying to create a better life for them, a more sustainable life for uh, what they were doing. And while I was there, I took a lot of photos and wrote a lot of information, which I posted on a blog. It's mytriptohaiti.wordpress.com. The earthquake a year and a half ago was, of course, immediately devastating, and there are still remnants today. There are buildings that are still standing that probably shouldn't be for all safety reasons. Um, but there are still issues being faced when it comes to health and food and employment. Um, there are many tent cities still in the center of Port-au-Prince. There are many people who don't have running water where they live. There are many people who don't have access to food along the countryside. So their issues are the same and not quite as immediate as they were directly after the earthquake. Um, but things are improving. They're steadily improving every day. And the things that I saw that Jamie and Allie deal with on a daily basis are ways of improving the, the communities and the families. Um, and it's all happening one family at a time. I was really surprised that I wasn't as shocked as I thought I was going to be. I assumed that I was going to see complete and total devastation. I thought I was going to see um, a lot of conditions that were uninhabitable. But surprisingly, I saw happy people who were making it work, who were getting along, who were um, finding fresh water, who were able to grow gardens. Um, one of the things that made me the happiest was visiting a family that Jamie and Allie helped through giving them seeds to plant. So um, now, after several months, that family has a full garden with things like corn and beans and squash and guava. They even have a pig. Um, and that wouldn't have been possible without Jamie and Allie's help of just donating seeds because there's no money. Um, them being able to grow the vegetables and uh, grow this garden and then figure out how to sell the items at market or even share them with their family were things that that family didn't really have access to. They didn't have the education. So that small outreach effort by Jamie and Allie was just amazing. And I also encountered several other organizations, some aid organizations and some orphanages that were um, just trying to help in any way they could. Um, and that was amazing. There was a lot of partnership. And it seemed to me that the families I encountered and the communities I visited, they were very thankful to have the help there, um, but would really like to see more help come through. There are a lot of ways to get involved, just talking about it, starting a conversation, continuing a conversation, keeping this issue alive, because a year and a half ago, this issue was on the tip of a lot of people's tongues, and now that time has passed, we think the aid is there, the aid is taking care of everything, we don't need to do anything else, and that's just not true. I mean, with a nation like this, it's very difficult, it's very slow going. There are a lot of people who need a lot of assistance in various forms. So just keeping a conversation going 
is one of the best ways to help. There are other ways to help. There are a lot of organizations with whom you could get involved. Um, of course, because it's close to my heart, Jamie and Allie McMutri's Haitian Orphan Rescue is a great way to directly impact families, individual families that Jamie and Allie see and help on a daily basis. Families that I met personally who have really found a lot of reward and gained a lot of knowledge and a lot of assistance through the work that Haitian Orphan Rescue does. Um, and of course, um, organizations like the Red Cross and other aid organizations that cater just to Haiti are great ways to help. I think that's natural in a situation where um, devastation is rampant and, and assistance is needed immediately. Um, a lot of money is taken in quickly and it has to be divided and, and divvied up and then people have to decide where is it going, when is it going. Um, so a lot of efforts come fast because it's immediate, like this emergency needs assistance now. So a lot of people do what they can when they can and then, oh, I already gave my $5, so I'm done. So they just walk away. Um, I have seen a lot of organizations that are repeat contributors. They go down every few months, um, Sean Penn is even one of them, to help out, check on the progress, continue to donate, um, you know, physically, uh, monetarily, um, and emotionally. Because individuals who have gone through such trauma and are having to deal with that on a daily basis need a lot of emotional support. So um, the fact that people give all at once probably is uh, kind of difficult and, and uh, shocking to people of a third world country who aren't used to any attention at all. So for it to continue with any amount of regularity would be a really great way for us to share with them a little bit of ourselves and for them to understand that you know we're still here. We still care. We're not going to just come to your rescue and save you temporarily and then put you back out uh, on your own. We're going to stay and we're going to help. I think I would like to share a couple of volunteer events that are coming up at my work. Sure. Um, I have been volunteering uh, pretty professionally for two years, two and a half years now in Pittsburgh. Um, and I am lucky enough to have stepped into a great position at Pittsburgh Cares, um, where uh, uh, the uh, area's leading volunteer organization. And another project that I'm part of is the Secret Agent L project. And that is now a world-renowned project um, focused on doing good and giving. And it's just a small way that you can volunteer your time and your heart and give of yourself and really help other people. And that, that's the core of volunteerism, just giving a little bit of yourself to help another person. And it's a great way to impact your own life, not only the lives of others, but you can really benefit from that yourself as well.